surprise, surprise. Because you guys know, I am rarely up here this late, right? Um, so I actually just got back in the house um, a little minute ago and I thought I'd come on because I've been having something on my mind for a while and I've probably talked about it <laughs> a couple times these last few you know broadcasts that I've done mainly because it, it has been on my mind and that's the subject of time and I feel I don't know maybe maybe I've already talked about this on a broadcast I don't know but that's how much the thought of it has been impacted me and I wanted to come on and you know really share a heartfelt message with you all about time because I think that time is something that uh, most people think they have so much more of than they actually do. And what it causes when, when we're in that, that frame and that mindset, it causes you to wait. And especially in the believer community, um, you know, I'm waiting on God, um, only in God's timing, those are things that we hear very often and it does us a disservice in some aspects. Now, I do believe there are times and circumstances like if you are looking for a relationship and you continue running into the wrong person, you don't just marry them because you feel like you're running out of time. Um, and I still don't think that you're necessarily waiting on God's timing. I think that what you're waiting on is alignment. Uh, and as it relates to business, it's, it's no different, right? And alignment really happens when we decide. That's when alignment happens. When you decide that you no longer want to run your business the way that you've been running it, you no, no longer want the results that you've been getting year after year after year. You no longer wish to reside at this particular level, even if the level that you're on isn't a bad level. Maybe you're at six figures, but you know in your heart there is more for you. Those are the times where I don't necessarily feel like there is a required time that God is making you wait. I think as soon as you're in alignment, that process begins to happen. As soon as you decide, that process begins to happen. I was speaking with um, a client earlier today, <clears throat> and we were talking about timing. We were talking about um, energy and, you know, kind of being in flow for whatever it is that you want. And I realized. In some instances, people have to get sick and tired of their situation um, in order to change. But then there is another space in time where people allow change to happen in their life and their business. And that's when they made a decision. Like, I am worthy of more. I deserve more. I desire more. And that's when you make a decision that you are saying no to everything that's not in alignment with what it is that you desire. And... <clears throat> that can be a hard space because things can happen. It can actually look like everything is falling apart. And what most people do during those significant times is they just go back to doing things the way that they were before instead of um, continuing on in the process. Because if you continue on, if you move forward, something will break right something from the level that you were on before will be released and it will allow room for the new thing and this is where faith comes in especially for those of us in business who are believers who are saying we are walking in faith but you don't need faith for things that you have a guarantee on that you know exactly how it's going to happen it doesn't require faith when everything seems to be absolutely perfect and I believe that's where people get things mixed up because is it really faith if every time you're given an opportunity for your business, every time you um, 
are given a download to do something differently that you're kind of like still waiting is that faith or does faith mean maybe today it won't happen but i'm still going to do the thing that's necessary for the next step so that it can happen right because it's definitely not going to happen like what is it that we're waiting on if we aren't preparing during that time of waiting and pre preparation can look um many different ways but what i do find is oftentimes if we are constantly finding ourselves in a in a space of waiting we're normally operating from a place of lack from a place of scarcity even in our thinking and being in that space causes you to number one be in competition so whenever so a competitive mindset is always generated from lack it means that um i feel i'm in competition with someone else because i lack something um i feel that i'm competing with everything in the universe to bring me what i desire now when you're in a space of creativity it's because you are operating from a place of abundance and a place of possibility now you guys just think back to maybe a moment in time where you weren't really feeling creative where you felt like something wasn't possible or you felt a, a sense of fear if you think about the root of that you were thinking from a place of lack because it was something you felt you lacked you felt you didn't qualify you felt that the money wouldn't come on time or fast enough or the that space in time was coming from a space of of lack like if you feel that especially in this internet space right it can become a cesspool of um competition it's really only when you decide when you make a decision that i get to have that i am worthy of that I'm willing to bet on myself because I've been at the same space for five years. And whatever it is I'm waiting on has not happened during these five years. I've actually just done the same thing over and over again, just thinking something is going to <clears throat> magically shift. But changes are happening all around you. It's like, um, how many of you have ever played double dutch before? <clears throat> the rope can be turning perfectly. But if you haven't decided that you're ready to jump in, the rope is still turning. So opportunities, what it is that you desire, that thing <clears throat> that you're hesitating to do, that thing that you think you need to wait on, that thing that you're stalling about, nine times out of 10, it is the thing that you need to do in order to bring the thing that you say you're waiting on. And religion, not our faith, but religion, can play a really ugly role in hesitation, stalling, complacency. And we begin to, if we're not careful, we begin to use all these crutches in our mind. Um, but you have to step into a space of awareness and say, is this a cycle for me? Is this a pattern for me that I get the energy, I get the drive, I get this one hit thing, and then it's gone then i'm no longer a a full participant it's something in the pattern you you have to be aware of so that you can move past that <clears throat> i um i was thinking about i saw a video that i did maybe about five years ago i saw it on yesterday and i just took time to listen to the whole video it was about 45 minutes long I was like, what was I talking about five years ago, right? Like, what was my message about? And I was like, wow, I this is the same thing that I'm talking about now. It's just that now my message is more evolved. Now it is for a different set of perfect people. Um, my offers are more premium. My offers have evolved. Uh, but my brand really has not changed. I've evolved so it will look different it will land on ears differently so some of the people 
who may have heard me speak before, my message may not resonate for them now. Although, at the core, I was saying the same thing. But because it's an evolved message, and maybe they haven't evolved from that space, or they're somewhere else, it may not land for them. But I have not created like 50 different things. Um, I have been operating with the mindset of mastery. So my goal, because there was a time where I was an excellent starter, but a very poor finisher, meaning I would have tons and tons of ideas that were incomplete, that were not done. And I made a decision <clears throat> to step in a space of mastery. I made a decision that I was gonna get really, really good at a few things. And guys, I'm telling you, it's those few things that have allowed me to step into new spaces of abundance. It hasn't been because I've done 50 different things. At, at any space and time where I find myself, you know, starting a lot of stuff, I know that there's a level of clarity that I don't have. I'm going to repeat that. Anytime I find myself starting a lot of things or coming up with new things, it's because the other thing hasn't quite worked to the fullest. And instead of me mastering that thing, I just moved on to something else. So I wanted to share with you this morning. I said this morning. I'm actually reading because it's uh, generated from a post that I made this evening. And you know, I never really come on this late. <clears throat> your clarity is priceless and if you've been going around in circles doing the same thing over and over again you have to take a different route you have to be willing to do something different you have to be willing to take like if you're a coach one of an offer and perfect it don't feel like you posted it one time you didn't get enough views listen there's so much about social media that's beautiful because with a small audience, you can still earn six figures. You don't have to have tens of thousands of followers on social media. You just need the right people. You're perfect people. And as you grow and evolve, allow the thought that your perfect people can change. Because if you're still trying to please the same people you were trying to please five years ago and your messaging hasn't changed, your pricing hasn't changed, it's, a very, it's, a, it's very likely <clears throat> that that will cause complacency in your, in your business, right? You have to allow yourself to evolve. So number one, get clear. Get clear on what it is that you really desire. I'll talk about vision until I'm not talking anymore because vision is that thing that gives you clarity. So let's say this, say you have these five different, six different ideas or six different things that you're doing in business or six different businesses that you've opened and started. If you haven't decided where you want to take those things, yes, you will start yet another thing. But when you get a clear vision that you are connected to, and when I say connected to, I mean, when you get connected to that vision, the competition, the comparing yourself, wondering if, you know, you're doing it like, you know, it's being done on the internet for the most, that stuff will begin to leave you, right? It's because you're still in competitive mode at that time. And that only comes because you're not clear. And so that's why vision is so important because it gives you a level of clarity. And as you begin to um, implement the things that are necessary to get to that ne next point, you become the person that can actually have that thing. So the vision would be like the target. And as you get in alignment with the vision, you become the person that can have multiple six figures. That can work only a few days a week and still earn six figures in their business. You become that person. Your mindset has to change in order to evolve into your vision, which is a lot further than where you are now. Your vision is normally further than where you are um, now. So number one, get clear. Number two, create an exceptional 
process with systems in your business. You will be all over the place without systems. I, um, I'm working on some operational um, procedures and um, processes for a business that's multiple six figures and they're wanting to scale to seven. And I promise you, like, they have tons and tons of opportunity, right? But if they did not have these systems in place, the whole thing would, the systems that we're putting in place now, it would plummet because it's way too much to try and handle without a system. And this is what I see many people doing in their business. So they continue to hustle and go harder and maybe have five or six different things, but they're exhausted because there's nothing, there's no foundation there to hold everything that they're calling in. Um, I, I can't begin to explain the importance of systems as you are growing and evolving in your business. And many times the foundation and the system that you previously had isn't strong enough for the things that you're wanting to call in, right? So it's, you're either building a system for the next level or you're tweaking a system for the next level to make sure it's strong enough for what you're wanting to call in. If you're wanting to call in more money, just, I'm, I'm just gonna start with money. If you're wanting to call in more money, not even necessarily clients, is the system you have strong enough to, to hold it? What I mean by that is your system may be your messaging. Like, is it even strong enough to call the right people in? Here's an example that I see like on social media. So oftentimes people are very attracted to um, the designer wear or the luxury cars and homes and things like that. And then they get inside the program for the person that used all of that as their attraction center. And I'm not saying that if that's just your normal lifestyle, that's just your lifestyle, right? But if you're using it to call people in, oftentimes you get people who are fascinated with the thing, right? So like if you're a coach maybe, and you're getting people into a program and you're thinking that you need to show all of your luxury things, the people that you get in will be, a attracted to the luxury things which are really just a byproduct of the money that you're earning so that means that some of the people who you may coach may not be willing to do the work because they're really coming for the thing that they don't know is actually a byproduct from systems structure market from all the things that have to be done to get there i hope this is making sense right and so maybe it's not luxury things that you're feeling like you have to use in order to attract clients. When you really start operating with premium clients, yes, they may see your lifestyle and understand that you're at a certain level, but they also can see value, right? And so if you call all of these people in, but then you can't serve them at the highest, or if you have a product or a service, if you're service-based and you just raise your prices, then the people who will come and pay them also have a different expectation level and I know we don't really like to talk about these things but once you've accessed a certain level of success your expectations change they do <laughs> people say don't let the money change you but who doesn't want to change who doesn't want to experience more who doesn't want to become better who doesn't desire you know some of the changing that you get to experience from having more money in your life and in your business so having an exceptional process and systems is so important. And I, I get people, most of the people who come to me, come to me to create systems in their business, whether they be, you know, financially or their marketing or whatever, you know, but it's tons of different systems, operational systems. Um, I'm working on a policy and procedure manual for one company. So systems, listen, those systems are, are so important for each level that you desire to go to. Um, and then rinse it. Rinse the system. That means calm through the system, perfect it, continue to master it, and then repeat. Do it again. So that means you don't have to do 50 different programs. You need to have an exceptional offer. Like that's really good. That gets people results. 
there are just a lot of things that I think people see on social media that make them forget some of the foundational things or make them think that the foundational things aren't really all that necessary because sometimes there can be quite a bit of fluff on the internet, especially during the pandemic because so many people had an opportunity, they were off of their job, you know, they opened a business and then you don't see them anymore because either what they created was not necessarily foundational, but they had done all the right things according to social media to get people in. Um, if slow times come, they, they weren't really built for that. So listen, build, build the business, get a great offer that is getting results because the results will bring in more people. And eventually people will see that you are solid like okay they still here people still going to them and you know even if you're providing a service your system baby your systems are powerful um and then i said rinse repeat and tweak it's not all the stuff that people think it is it's it's a lot simpler i didn't say easy but it is a lot simpler simple and simplification guys It'll save your business and your life. It will save your business and your life. And then you expand and then you evolve. And that has pretty much been what my process has been for quite some time. Like the video that I saw, I was still talking about a portion of what is now 3D Success Academy. I was talking about, um, it was called 3D Masterclass or something of that. No, I have 3D, Ma 3D Brand Masterclass now. Then it was, I think, 3D Master Session. That's what it was, 3D Master Session. But it was a part of 3D Success Academy, you know, that I built out over time. It, it evolved, it expanded. It's, that was a core of the offer that I'm still enrolling people into who are still three to five Xing um, their business from that program that I continue to tweak, that I continue to expand and I continue to evolve like to this day people are still signing up for it it's not 50 different things that i'm doing because one thing i realized is i couldn't master 50 different things let's say for instance you have a brick and mortar um place and you provide a service but you also sell retail i see a lot of people go and get um 20 items they, they'll start a product and it'll be 20 items off gate in the product line now i'm giving y'all some goods i'm giving you some money nuggets right now but if you start with just a few products you can master those products you will find that sometimes a simple three products can be used in so many multiple different ways that you figure out over time because you're mastering it it also becomes easier to sell because a confused mind does nothing. If you give somebody 30 items, they're probably like, oh, I don't even really know what to get. And then you got retail just sitting on the shelf collecting dust. Does that make sense? So simplification, it really is a key. I would love um, if you're watching this to help you like really simplify your business to the point where things are happening with much ease, much more ease, grace, flow is coming in more consistently and definitely it being less your effort. I see people waiting and it breaks my heart because I've seen it too many times. What people think in their mind, like I'm, I'm waiting, turns into five years and people are taking five year intervals for granted. I've also seen a lot of people who continue to wait until they were so exhausted with what they were doing because it wasn't yielding not it was yielding results but not the results that they really desire because your business is a vehicle to all the experiences and everything that you want to cookie that's my kitty cat all the experiences and things that you want to have in your life it's your business <laughs> right and so i'm on tonight to um invite you to move out of any space of competition or um, comparison that you may be in wondering if your stuff is okay 
um, looking at everyone else and feeling like there's no need for you to show up. You showing up, you will begin to find what your thing is, right? Um, and just inviting you to tap into abundance here. Because in if whenever you're creative, you're tapping into abundance. And I don't mean creative as in um, I'm building 50 different things, but your creativity in how you present it to the marketplace. When you are in lack thinking, you don't have no creativity. You're like, I don't know what to post. I don't know what to do. It, it, it just, it shuts so much of your energy down. But when you are thinking from a space of abundance, your creativity is through the roof, your possibility is through the, the roof, you begin to think of ways that it's going to be possible. For whatever that thing is that you've been hesitating on or that you've been a little afraid to do that's continuously got you waiting like talking about what you want but not taking that next move whatever that next move may be whether it's investing in yourself right to get the help that you need if you are thinking from a space of lack it will have you in wait season but when you tap into abundance you will start your mind automatically because this is how our brain works will begin to come up with ways that you can make it happen but if you are in a space of lack the brain will shut down and say you're right this mm -mm, not right now and next year the same thing we are we're in, in the fourth quarter correct am i correct fourth quarter of 2023 what were those goals that you had at the beginning of the year how many times have you said to yourself, I don't like doing this like this, but you go back and do it like that over and over and over again. Or you may switch and do something else, but the way you're doing it, that's who you're being. That's your mindset. You take that with you to every business you start, every new offer you create, every time you rebrand, you take the same mindset with you. Is this making sense? So ultimately, it will create the same results. So if you're at the space where my heart is, because I can't begin to explain like how many people are waiting and saying it's not God's timing. No, it's your timing. Like everything that God has created, he's created. Like those opportunities, the money, the car, all of that is already there. It's waiting for you to get in alignment. It's waiting for you to get in alignment. So that's my take um, on today. I mentioned 3D Success Academy. For those of you, you know you're ready. You need accountability. You're like, listen, I'm in flow, but I, I need accountability. I know that because I have been in flow many times and I've fallen off. If you need accountability, support the, the right strategy so you're putting the right efforts on the right things. Because I've seen people managing things that aren't working for such a long time until they lose their confidence in the amazing gifts they have, in the possibility that they were once talking about, and it becomes this vicious cycle. And my heart is breaking because I'm seeing people who feel stuck in what they're doing. And they've been stuck in that place um, and complacent in that place for so long that it's even more difficult for them to bet on themselves. And so sometimes you just got to realize that the ropes, them double dutch ropes, they're turning just waiting for you to jump in and find your flow. Wait for you to jump in and find your flow. If that's you and you're like, I need support. I need to get clear on my vision. I need the accountability. I'm ready. I don't, I no longer wanna be in the space that I'm in. I'm willing to put my faith forward, bet on myself. Um, join me inside 3D Success Academy. Um, you get access to me once a month on live calls but you get to email me, right? Imagine having like a coach in your pocket. Mm -hmm. That's my take. 
on this evening, guys. And um, don't let those limiting beliefs talk you out of your next. Don't let the enemies of your destiny, of your dreams and your goals continue to talk you out of your next. If you're looking for other ways outside of the academy um, that I can support you, uh, message me here. I'll put the link to the academy in the comments and we can get started. I'm ready. You guys have a good one. Peace and abundance.